Hello and welcome back. This is Daily 75 Games. <clears throat> you are watching Dragon Age 2. I am Marion Hawk, and we are just in the entrance of Kirkwall. Just got off one of the ships from refugees uh, as a refugee, and we have sort of contracted with a smuggler group to get inside. Now, uh, we've completed the task set for us, and basically, we are. I hope we're in. I wonder if there's anything this way. I may have missed something. This kind of looks like a merchant area. I just have a feeling the city is just not very happy. Wow, I just can't believe how big that building is. That's amazing. That's got to be at least 50 stories. Hi. <laughs> My uncle, Gamelin, you scumbag. Any luck? Was there ever any doubt? I'll speak to Athenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. Then we made it. The voyage is over. Bribery, extortion, it's all part of the day. No more running for our lives unless we really have to. If only Carver were here with us. And Wesley. Well... We're off to a fantastic start. Let's see what else this city has in store. Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. <laughs> but Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. So she remained, paying off her debt, made a name for herself in the underworld. It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. but. Most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. Knight Commander Meredith. Now remember her name. She's integral to the completion of the story here. That's her. It's the Knight Commander in charge of all the Templars, and basically they run the city of Kirkwall. No! Andraste's tits, human! You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? But we heard you're going into the deep roads. Surely you'll need all the help you can- No! You're too late. Already done. This is a sort of venture that can make a man for life. I'm not about to take any chances hiring random humans. Hmm. I'll buy you a drink before we head into the deep roads. Everyone wins. Get in line, human. Half of Kirkwall wants to be my best friend right now. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. What are we supposed to do now? We've got nothing to stop the next person who tries to sell us out. This expedition was our last chance. Don't worry, Bethany. I won't let any big bad Templars come get you. It's not a joke. If the Templars find me, the best I can hope is to be locked away for the rest of my life. If they don't kill me outright. We need coin, status, something we can hide behind. As long as we're just refugees, we're no one. Oh, maybe Gamlin knows someone who can talk to Bartram for us. Our uncle's not exactly the most reliable tool in the shed. He's all we've got. Make us save us. We might as well ask. Otherwise, I don't know what we'll do. Hey! 
I knew a guy once who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high town, let alone the Merchants Guild. You might want to find yourself a new line of work. <laughs> Off you go. <gasps> oh. How do you do? Varric Tethrus, at your service. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would. I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. <laughs> You're part of Bartrand's venture. That's right. The Deep Roads wouldn't normally be my thing, but I can't allow the head of our family to go down there alone. So as you might imagine, I have more than a passing interest in this expedition's success. Surface dwarves. They're always so charismatic. What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. You've made quite the name for yourself over the last year. The Coterie has been squeezing smugglers out left and right, and the only group to survive owes it all to you two. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. Yeah, this is a, a year after we've arrived. The time is marching on. You must have heard of my sister as well, then. Only a little. She is certainly welcome to come, but I'll leave that up to you. Frankly... I'd rather you take the credit. Madam, your secrets are safe with me. Find out what he's offering. We need a way into this expedition. <laughs> You're going awfully far out of your way just to hire another guard. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. The truth is, Bartrand's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. That's a lot of money. Your brother doesn't seem like the sort who's willing to split profits. My brother is many things, but he is not stupid. Far better to share the profits than be trapped in a tie with a thousand dark spawn between you and the exit. Trust me, he'll come around. If you hadn't, know, if you didn't know, she is the same voice as the female Imperial agent in the Old Republic, the MMO. I think she's got a very beautiful voice. Why would you stick your neck out for a complete stranger? I'd rather take a chance on someone with your reputation than head into the deep roads unprepared. And besides, we'd be your partners. I'm willing to give a little trust if you are. <laughs> I hope there's more to this. Like how I'm supposed to get that much coin together. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with Darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. It won't be easy, but it's a chance. I think we have to take it. Better to work our way into this expedition than sit around waiting to be thrown in the gallows. We work together, you and I, and before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? There might be nothing down there except Darkspawn and rubble. How can you be sure we'll make a profit? Well, Bartrand isn't grasping its strings. He's operating on some good information. Some of the Deep Roads are so old, even the Dwarves have forgotten them. We just need to get down there, then Bartrand will lead the way. You and I will be there to handle problems. What makes you so certain you'll be useful to me? I know everyone in this city worth knowing. I can help you find the jobs you need, and if you don't need me for that, there's always Bianca. His weapon. You named your crossbow. And why not? She's a beauty. Isn't that right, sweetheart? <laughs> What's to stop you from taking my investment and running? You'll be traveling with the expedition, and I'll be at your side. If I cross you, you'll be the first one to know, and I'll be the last. You're asking me to take a lot on faith. You're asking for a guarantee? 
I don't know that I can give you one. Look, I know the Templars have been asking questions. How terrible would it be to get out of the city for a while? If this works out, you'll be wealthy enough that the Order won't be able to touch you. You need the coin, and I need your help. We need each other. I can't make it sound better than that. He seems like he's kind of my sort of person. Honest, but uh, also a bit of a scoundrel at the same time. It's not like I had anything better planned. Perfect. Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Maybe Aveline can find us some work. She's got a position with the city guard now. We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the Hanged Man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. Now, let's go see what trouble we can stir up. I, and I town, where the rich go to piss their money away. <laughs> this really is the best place in Kirkwall. I don't mean honest on the surface. I mean honest as a... I think he's got a... He's a good person inside, even though he likes to... Uh, he puts up a nice front. But uh, he, I th he seems like the kind of person that just... I don't know. Like a manipulator. Hard to judge. Not much to see here. I haven't met many dwarves in my life, but... Uh, oh well. He seems kind of a, like a kindred spirit to me in some ways. Okay, so his his brother is Bartrand, the one who's... These are dwarven statues. I'm not sure. Maybe the, the Deventer Imperium built these, or dwarves came and built these afterwards? I don't know. These are expedition hiring. We've got a scout. A few weeks in the deep roads won't be that bad, right? <laughs> um, so when I level, when I gain my season, I uh, I, I gain the speed trait. Uh, let's see if I can. Yeah, uh, I plan to go dual weapon, fill out this tree, specialist to fill out this tree, and uh, where is it? Oh, this this wasn't here before. Assassin. That wasn't there before. It's new. Duelist? This wasn't here either. This has just come in. Strange. Oh, specialization points. I take it I need to specialize. Awesome. That's kind of cool. So, yes, I said it shunted everything. This sabotage was actually down here. Okay, so that's why I'm confused. Uh, yeah, sabotage here. I fill, filled that tree out. Fill dual weapon tree out. Uh, specialist as well, which it gains me speed and a bonus of speed. I think there's also one here called power. Uh, when this mode is active, the rogue throws more force into each shot or strike, hoping to stun enemies. And yeah, that's actually not bad. It's a mode, takes up a little bit of stamina. So, a couple modes going, and uh, one, two, three trees, and I guess I'll specialize in either assassin or duelist or both if I can do both. That's definitely from Origins. Two weeks in the deep roads. How bad could it be? That's uh, a long time. Beric, where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Bartrand, so suspicious. I have, in fact, brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid, nug-humping dirt farmer. <laughs> Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. Ah, there's so much love here. It's very comforting. What I'd love is the coin to back up my brother's confidence. How about it, human? Are we talking a full share here, or what? If you have the coin, sure. You'll get a full share. That seems like a lot for an expedition. We're going lower into the deep roads than anyone's ever dared. Who knows what we'll find down there? Well, that means food and equipment and hirelings. None of that comes bloody cheap. I'm still figuring that part out. And how about you tell me when that happens? Until then, you're not much of a partner. Relax, Bartrand. Have I ever let you down? You don't want me to answer that. <laughs> I 
Ah, I'm starting to really like Vark. Okay. So. Dwarven merchants. Bodan Fedic, purveyor of goods, both common and rare, at your service. And this is my son, Sandal, who is as brilliant an enchanter as you'll ever find. Say hello to the nice human, Sandal. Hello. We shall be accompanying your expedition and providing the needed supplies. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? <laughs> Now, if you notice, uh, Sandal and Bulldown are from Origins. They were an integral part of our uh, buying and selling. They were our number one vet, uh, vendor in there. And, uh, but, of course, Marion has never met them before. Uh, also, their looks are similar, but not 100% the same, as you can tell. Uh, it's just the new kind of graphics, either a new engine or some kind of upgrade that they did. It's hard for them to match up with the old look. The thought of adventure does make me giddy. <laughs> a kindred soul, surely. <laughs> but I digress. Do you wish to peruse my wares, or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment? Just so. I thought all enchanters were mages. Not at all. The fabled dwarven resistance to magic has allowed enchantment of crafts for countless ages. Granted, most dwarven smiths must work for many, many years to learn the skill. But my boy is a natural, a savant beyond compare. <laughs> I like enchantment. Wow. <laughs> he enjoys his work. What more could one ask? <laughs> you two don't seem the sort to hire onto this sort of expedition. My son and I have never played it safe. Never captured a tried and true rose. In fact, we have just returned from adventures while accompanying the hero of Ferelden, legendary Grey Warden and vanquisher of the Blight. So you helped to defeat the Blight? In our small way, perhaps. We did not fight at the Grey Warden's side, of course. The hero of Ferelden is a fine man. After all his accomplishments, May he find even greater success. Ah, but surely my past is hardly of interest to the likes of you. We have nothing Let's to Let's see enchant. what you have. By all means, feel free to peruse my wares whenever you wish. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we have nothing to enchant. Uh, I guess we have to click on his bag to start uh, perusing his wares. Sandal is his son. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind him, Monsieur. Sandal's never been one for conversation. Okay, so a dagger for 20. It is better than what we're using. Ours is 7. 13 DPS per second. And this one is 15. Uh, we can sell a bunch of things. We have 5. Oh, we're so poor, actually. <laughs> What? Do we have any junk? We have no junk. Armor fragment. Is that junk? Yeah. That's kind of neat. Birch core. Hmm. I don't know what Bethany has. Oh, Vark has gained a season. He just joined us and he's gained a season already. Okay, so she's using... Yeah, she should be using something with fire damage, to tell you the truth, because she has, gets a lot of bonuses to fire... Uh, she basically is a fire type mage. So let's sell, let's sell all these things. We don't need a bow. Uh, obviously, Varric has his own weapon. Enchanted dagger nine. Ours is better. Yeah, let's get rid of all these. This is what we picked up on our way out here. Okay, so selling all that, we only have. Th are you serious? We only have thirteen. We can't even afford the cheap dagger. We are poor. Is there any other items we have? Rough leather armor. It's not even as good as what I'm wearing. I'm wearing Smuggler Scale and Banding, which is I, I picked up in my time since coming to Kirkwall. So... I'm not selling these potions. There's no way. They're worth their weight in gold. So that's it then. And we'll have to increase Varric's... Uh, he's a rogue like me, but he is a ranged rogue with his own specialized weapon. 
So he's going to want dexterity and cunning. Let's bring cunning up another one. Confirm. Now, uh, he's ranged, which is marksman. So he's got like his own tree there. It didn't look like that for me. But, oh, this is Bianca right here. What's this? This probably improves it. Another way of improving it. So let's go here. He's already pinning shot with Bianca. This is... It's funny. It's a, the only weapon that has its own tree. Bursting arrow. This arrow explodes on impact, showering the area in shrapnel and flame. Wow. Sounds dangerous. And, uh... Gonna whistle for Cricket to come. You should be with us at all times, my girl. She does look different than Chester, actually. The uh, the dog that I had in Dragon Age Origins. Just slightly different. Different look. Everything has a slightly different look in this game. Okay, so. Uh, can't enchant anything. We don't have any money. No items to enchant. No runes, no slotted items, anyways. So, I'm going to end the video here, and then we'll ex start exploring Kirkwall afterwards in the next one. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.